Hi, Casey. Um, hi to all you team members. Uh, my name is Terry Grail. I'm the founder and CEO of Enchanted Makeovers. Enchanted Makeovers is a national nonprofit charitable organization. We're based out of Taylor, Michigan, and our mission is to transform the environments in shelters for women and children and bring programs to them that lead to success. Um, we're also about uniting communities. Um, when this began over eight years ago, um, I was asked to volunteer my time and paint a wall at a shelter. When I made that visit in January of 07, um, I was just overwhelmed. I went into this dorm where 30 women would sleep for one year um, to rebuild their lives. Um, these are women that are escaping anything from sex trafficking, domestic violence, or homeless female vets. And um, the director, just so nonchalant, shared with me how the beds were from a prison, the bed spreads were from a nursing home. Everything in the room was broken. And um, I took before pictures and I just wanted to run. I didn't want to do anything. Um, and I went home and I, a week had passed. I wanted to just go away. And when God has a greater plan, he's gonna hit you over the head. I downloaded those pictures and on that stained mattress, the wall was being held together with duct tape, was a polka dot pillow. I've loved polka dots since I was a child. And when I saw that polka dot pillow, I heard, trust me. Um, I just kind of froze there for a second. And I remember just putting my hand up in the air and said, I'll do it. I had no idea how I was gonna raise the funds, how I was even gonna gather the community. I just knew that I was being called to do something greater than, than myself. It was, I needed to be used for something greater. And um, I remember going out to the community asking, asking for new things, asking, um, um, just sharing my story and getting a lot of no's until one day um, I began to receive these calls and people would share their story before they would even ask what they could do. And in that moment, I had that aha moment that I began to ask people, what is it you love to do? And I knew that this was just a piece for something greater. People began to serve with their talent. And um, I really believe when we change the way we serve, we changes the way we see each other. Um, after years of really just transforming shelters into healthy environments, um, another moment came into my life when I was sitting with my mother and she shared with me how a sewing machine saved her life. Um, I've always knew my mother battled depression. Um, growing up, I remember um, those dark days where there's no food on the table and the house was just full of darkness and my mother would lay in bed. But I have always believed in not entertaining the darkness, really just focusing on that light. And my good memory is my mother at the machine and um, creating something beautiful for her children, for her home, and Carly Simon playing in the background. The breeze just coming through the windows. And I knew in that moment we needed to start, we needed to have a sewing program, a permanent sewing room in shelters for women and children. This is just as crucial as to sitting in a chair and having therapy with the counselor. Um, we went on a national tour last year, it was a huge success. And the community again rallied with us. Um, they began to open up of how, what can we do? What can we do to help? And I think the biggest piece with this is people are hungry. People want to be a part of something. They want to help to grow something. They want to have a voice in it. Um, we've been told many times it's really a paradigm shift. It's a movement. Um, usually what I've come across with shelters is the basic needs. It's, can you use this? We have this in our garage. And that's not what this is about. It's about moving the community to go with an even deeper. What is it that you can serve with? Um, we just recently um, had a house donated to us for a dollar from my hometown of Taylor, Michigan. And it's a 1926 arts and crafts home. And once again, the community has rallied to renovate this house so that we can grow the infrastructure. Um, it's amazing how people are excited 
I mean, you've got these contractors coming in on their time to do all the new electrical and plumbing, and they're playing music in the house, and they're excited to see us grow. Um, I just, I'm, I really, truly believe this is my calling. I just recently, you know, I started going back to my roots and asking more questions to my mother. And why did we move 12 times? And I realized we were also homeless. Um, you know, you start digging a little deeper. We think that we can hide those memories, but there's a reason for us to go back and kind of bring them into the light. I remember at Christmas time at nine years old, as I stood in um, this hall waiting for a Christmas gift, this gentleman came up to me and said, come here girl, pick out a toy. That has never left me. He never asked my name. Um, I was more than just that donation on the table. And this is part of Enchanted Makeovers, is that when we do something, we do it all together. Everybody has a name tag. Everyone has a voice. We all have a story. And um, I just hope that you will consider us as um, your team, um, just sitting down with us, helping us to grow. The house will be done this year and um, we'll have our national headquarters. So I'm really excited about this opportunity and um, I hope that you will just join the village. It takes a village. So let's all sit down and just help us grow. Thank you so much, Casey and the team, for this opportunity.